country have decided to invest in Namibia, the investor-friendly country. And of course, uh, coming from Canada, I was not doubtful that you will do something wrong at the environment. Uh, so uh, allowing the people to make noise. Tabango is poor. They are saying they are poor. And you bring investment there to great jobs. Negativity. Chasing investors out, discouraging them. Any investment government maintains would not be to the detriment of the local community or the country at large. We do have an Environmental Management Act. For every step the company needs to do, from the drilling that they are doing now, each step they have to get a permit. And that permit will only be given to them, provided they show that they have taken good care of the environment. And therefore for me, for the people who say, well, because they are potential environment, just stop it. I don't think it's being fair. But rather, let's insist. Let's insist to make sure that the company does what they do within what the Environment Act demands. And that's already the, the good thing we have to do as, as Namibians. Uh, and, and not to say we, are, we want to do that actually experiment the benefit of the environment. And, and no one says it doesn't have a potential environment impact. It does. It does. That's why. There has to be that color study in the Recon Africa was recently accused by whistleblowers in the U.S. of deceptive marketing regarding its drilling operations in order to manipulate stock prices. It was further accused of failing to disclose detailed, crucial information, an accusation the Canadian-based company dismisses as unfounded. It's kind of a sad narrative of the Canadian and U.S. capital markets where there's these short sellers out there that, that actually, you know, they, 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 sell, they sell the shares of public companies and try to drive the value down, and then they buy it back at lower prices, all in, uh, in the interest of making money. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not, in my opinion, not the best, most respectable way to make money, but it is the way, it's one of the, uh, one of the issues that the, Canadian and U.S. securities regulators are grappling with right now. But anyway, that's their goal is to short the stock, make um, unfounded claims about the company, to try to drive the share price down, again, all in the pursuit of profit. So that's what that's all about. Recon Africa estimates that government could rake in about $8.8 .8 billion per year from the commercialization of oil and gas.